All right. Hi. My name is Ariola uh, Davis Ayologian, and this is my one woman show, uh, Echoes of Shadows Reveal. And just a little bit uh, background on myself. Uh, I am a multimedia artist and I work with a different medium. Um, I work with the acrylic, uh, enamels, glass, and um, also printmaking. And one of the things I also enjoy doing is a metal smithing. And this show, Echoes of Shadows Reveal, has a lot to do with the using shadow. Uh, as a metaphor. Over the years I've always been intrigued by shadows and as a former marathon runner one of the things that kept me when I go out to practice is the shadows and challenges me so I run like chasing my own shadows. So with that intrigue comes the need to use it as a metaphor in the painting. More so also with the state of what's going on in our country today, uh, as I was thinking with everything that's going on, and I'm trying not to be political, but at the same time, being that I am an immigrant coming from another country to America before I became a citizen, I wanted to use that as a metaphor to say, you know, if you peel the shadows, you really get the sense to see what's behind. And when we made comments such as, go back to where you come from, you're not wanted here, and you're not part of this community or part of this country, those kinds of things are uh, uh, things that tears us apart. And because of that, I want, I'm using the shadow as a metaphor to say, let's peel up. So in abstractly coming together, that if you peel, you need to get to know what's behind the shadow, what's behind the person, before you can make that judgment call to say, hey, you know, go back to where you come from. You know, you're not part of this uh, community, you're not part of this country, and things like that. So that developed, and it's, it's a series, and it's something that I'm going to continue to work on. Uh, now. And that's also why I have a very interactive uh, piece uh, in the gallery today for people, because I wanted to collaborate where they get to pick some of the shadows of myself, shadows of friends that send me and utilize it and I want them to pick it up and uh, put it onto the canvas. So they have a little voice in that as I work on it later on after the show. Uh, so there's a lot in plan that I wanted to really explore with shadows, you know, as a metaphor. Well, one, one advice that I will give is practice your, your skills. Practice and get out there. Um, I, even though I'm self-taught, there's so many things. I still consider myself as um, middle ground artist uh, because now I'm doing art as a full-time profession. But prior to that, I believe that it is very important that you practice, practice daily, because in order to get better, one has to practice daily, just like a regular job. If you don't practice your job, every day you don't show up, you're not going to have that job for long. So if one is trying to make the transition from nine to five job to being a full-time artist, then you really need to make that commitment to practice and practice. Yeah. And we wanted to contact you. Uh, how can we do that? Can you see your website? Oh, yes. Uh, you can contact me on social media platform. I'm on Facebook, Adeola Studio 2, uh, A-D-E-O-L-A Studio, S-C-U-D-I-O. Okay, I'm also on Instagram at Ariola Studio dot underscore art. Uh, and uh, uh, you can find me in those two places of the way I'm mostly active. And they can also email me at Ariola Studio at yahoo.com. 
And check me out also my uh, website, areolastudio.org. No, I appreciate show. I know you got people everywhere wanting to talk to you. Uh -huh. But I want to thank you for taking the time. And I'm looking forward to walking around in the viewing more of your work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.